Alright guys, so today's video we're going to be installing some injectors in the car. That's going to be the first step in flex fueling the car. I already have a upgraded fuel pump, so if you're thinking about doing this, you're going to need an upgraded fuel pump. So the first step is going to be to upgrade to some 1000cc injectors. I got some ID 1000s, so let's get to it. Alright guys, so the first step is going to be to depressurize the fuel system. So in order to do that, you're going to come over here onto the passenger side. And you're going to get into this part right here. So after you take off this side panel. So to relieve the fuel system pressure, you're going to want to disconnect this green connector that's back here. It's connected to a white plug. That'll disengage the fuel pump. We're going to go ahead and start the car. and it should die. Just like that. So after it's died, you wanna pop open the gas cap. Come over here. And undo the gas cap. That'll relieve all the rest of the pressure from the system. Now we can start taking the fuel injectors out. All right, on the passenger side, in order to get access to the fuel injectors, we're gonna take off these two bolts to the coolant reservoir. That way we could get access to the fuel rail. So with that off, we should be able to pull this back. All right, I'm gonna try to do this without disconnecting any of these hoses that way I don't lose any coolant but there's two 12 millimeter bolts that connect the fuel rail to the block so I'm gonna take off those two bolts and then I should be able to get the injectors out all right so now that the bolts are out we should be able to lift the fuel rail up and then the injectors should just pop right out. Then you just disconnect them at the connector. There you go. One injector out. Alright, so now we're going to take the new injector and you got this little plug and play connector. So we're going to connect it to the old spot. Make sure it clicks in there. And then you're going to put it up in the fuel rail. You got to make sure it clicks in that also. I'm just going to take this intake tube off to make some more room for myself. Alright, I got the injectors in and on mine they don't click because this is an aftermarket fuel rail but if you have a stock fuel rail the injectors will click in. Um, so hopefully when I turn it on there's no leaks or anything, we'll check it. Um, now we're going to go do the other side. Alright guys, so there we go. We got all the injectors in. Um, I'm not going to leak test it yet because I still got to put on the flex fuel and I don't want to have to depressurize the system twice. Um, so the next video will be the flex fuel kit install. Uh, if you like this video, please like and subscribe if you want to see the next one. Same thing and we'll catch you guys later. Have a good one.